For centuries, the legend of Atlantis has captivated the imaginations of explorers, scholars, and dreamers alike. Described as a utopian paradise, a powerful naval empire, and a civilization far ahead of its time, Atlantis continues to stand as one of the greatest mysteries in human history. But was it ever real? Or was it simply a cautionary tale crafted by the great philosopher Plato? Today, we'll dive deep into the story of Atlantis, exploring its origins, possible evidence, and the mystery that keeps it alive to this day. The tale of Atlantis begins with Plato, one of ancient Greece's most influential thinkers. In his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, written around 360 BCE, Plato described Atlantis as a highly advanced island civilization that thrived 9,000 years before his era. According to Plato, Atlantis lay beyond the Pillars of Hercules, the area we now know as the Strait of Gibraltar. It was a land of immense wealth, fertile plains, and unmatched naval power. However, their great success bred arrogance and moral decay. In Plato's account, the gods punished their hubris by submerging Atlantis beneath the waves in a single day and night. But is this story purely a metaphor, a tool for teaching lessons on pride and downfall? Or could Plato's account be rooted in an ancient truth? Over the centuries, countless theories have emerged about the possible location of Atlantis, each offering its own tantalizing clues. Some believe Plato intended the story as an allegory, warning against human greed and unchecked ambition. Others argue it was inspired by real events, such as the catastrophic volcanic eruption on the island of Thera, modern-day Santorini in 1600 BCE, which devastated the Minoan civilization. Here are four of the most compelling theories. One, the Mediterranean hypothesis. Many scholars suggest Atlantis could be linked to the Minoan civilization on Crete. The Minoans were an advanced culture known for their architecture, trade networks, and art. Their sudden decline, caused by earthquakes and tsunamis, might have inspired Plato's tale. Two, the Atlantic Ocean theory. Another popular theory places Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean, potentially submerged near the coasts of Spain, Morocco, or the Azores Islands. These areas align with Plato's description of a land beyond the Pillars of Hercules. Three, the Eye of the Sahara. The Richat structure in Mauritania, also known as the Eye of the Sahara, has fascinated researchers for its striking circular shape and resemblance to Atlantis's described concentric rings of land and water. Its massive size and location make it a compelling candidate. Four, Antarctica. Some fringe theories even suggest Atlantis could be buried under the ice of Antarctica, following a sudden shift in Earth's crust. While this idea pushes the limits of imagination, it reflects the lengths people will go to uncover Atlantis's secrets. Despite these theories, no concrete evidence has been discovered to confirm Atlantis's existence. Skeptics argue that the absence of ruins or artifacts supports the idea that Plato invented the story as a moral allegory. However, mysterious underwater sites like the Yonaguni Monument near Japan or the Bimini Road in the Bahamas continue to spark debate. Could these formations be remnants of forgotten civilizations? Or are they simply natural phenomena, coincidentally resembling man-made structures? Modern technology, including sonar mapping, deep sea exploration, and satellite imaging continues to fuel the search. Yet the truth about Atlantis remains elusive, shrouded in myth and mystery. Whether Atlantis was a real place or a fictional warning, its story endures as a symbol of the unknown. It reflects the fragility of human ambition and the allure of uncovering long-lost secrets. From inspiring works of fiction, like Disney's Atlantis, The Lost Empire, to influencing real-world archaeological expeditions, Atlantis is a tale that challenges us to seek answers while learning from the past. The truth about Atlantis may still lie hidden beneath the waves, but its legacy remains, reminding us of humanity's unending quest for knowledge and discovery. What do you think? Was Atlantis a real place, or simply a story meant to teach us about the dangers of hubris? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Global Edits for more deep dives into history's greatest mysteries.